Oh, I knew as soon as these things came in the mail, it was time to do a Batman update. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We're going to be talking about the Batman. This is Robert Pattinson's Batman, directed by Matt Reeves. We've gotten a couple little bit of tidbits in the past couple of days that I'm going to go ahead and summarize. If you don't already know on this channel, we do all Batman updates, getting us really bad hype for this movie. I'll link some of the most recent Batman updates in the description, or you can just follow the playlist on my channel. But today for what we're going to be discussing is Paul Dano, who is playing the Riddler in this movie, finally speaks out about his role we're gonna be breaking down everything we know about the riddler so far in this film how he's gonna play into robert pattinson's batman we also have the first concept model of what the batmobile was looking like shedding some light into the new details and aesthetics of this new batmobile and so much more details about the batman so i need you guys to leave your opinions down below on what you think of everything we discuss here specifically concerning stuff with the riddler are you excited for him to be the main villain of this batman movie i love me Jim Carrey's Riddler, but I'm very excited to see a real serious take on the big screen for the Riddler. And also, don't forget to leave a like down below, especially just because as of June 1st, the UK has finally given full permission for the Batman to start shooting, and you know we want some leaked set photos of him in that Batmobile, so make that like button turn blue if you're hoping that'll happen. And starting right off the Batman, I just gotta go and say the Batman community is freaking amazing. A lot of people out there have made amazing arc work that just resembles what the Batman will actually be looking like in this new Batman movie. Specifically when it comes to the new Batsuit, the one I'm loving right now that I used in my thumbnail is by William Gray what a fantastic render for this Batman suit. I love what he did with the eyes and making it still have his black red nub, but the surrounding part has turned white. This would be such a great way for them to adapt the Batman in giving him white eyes because we know Christopher Nolan gave us his version of a Batman with white eyes, but it kind of looked a little wonky. What this fan render is doing is perfect, and I would love to see Matt Reeves do this with his Batman. But then we have these photos here made by a Leonard Mengen. He's an Italian artist who made these incredible, so realistic renders of the Batman costume. I had people DMing me over and over saying, look at the new Batman photos. They released new Batman photos like... Yo, that is how talented people are in 2020. These are fan-made, are rendered, and gives us an idea of what Robert Pattinson's jaw and face will be looking like behind the bat suit. And yeah, I'm definitely digging the appearance. The cow to me still needs a little getting used to. I don't mind it. It's when we get to the forehead and the ears for me is when it really looks a little odd. But then again, these are fan renders based off the test bat suit and the leak set photo. So it's not the finished product but it is still really close. And I just want to go ahead and promote some of these great creators for making some of these renders. Moving on to the details about the Batmobile, in my previous Batman update, I talked about how Jeffrey Wright, the man who's playing Commissioner Gordon in the Batman, let out a whole bunch of details concerning this Batmobile. I'll link it in the description if you want to know more, but basically he let us know that this Batman will be building this Batmobile with his own two hands and creating all the cool gadgets that we'll get to see in this movie. Well, Jeff Frost is a concept designer who was working alongside this Batman movie to make the Batmobile, and he decided out of nowhere to release the first concept look of what the Batcar was going to be looking like. Now, it looks like he was not supposed to share these images because they were up for a day, and then moments later, they were taken down by Warner Brothers. So it looks like these photos are something Warner Brothers just does not want us to see, or I guess just really wants to hide marketing for the Batman until things clear up in our world. And even though this Batmobile doesn't look that different from the final product that we got from Matt Reeves who tweeted out what the Batmobile will be looking like, it's still cool to know where some of the lights and gadgets will be coming out of. Because in that original Batmobile picture, we didn't even know that there was lights coming from the hood and it gives it a really great look that watching this thing zoom down the streets of Gotham City is going to be fantastic. The backside of this Batmobile also just looks fantastic. I love the red lights. It really reminds me of the Adam West Batmobile, but my mind just constantly gets drawn to the front of this car, specifically the hood and the bumper, because it looks like there are some gadgets there. There was something in here Warner Brothers did not want us to see, so you guys let me know if you can catch anything on 
this Batmobile that you believe is going to be of use in the actual movie. But jumping to the details of Paul Dano, who is playing the Riddler, he was doing an interview with the playlist, and this is the first time we finally get to hear Paul Dano speak about his role as playing the Riddler and what he's bringing to the table with this character. There's some things he had to say about the movie. I think Matt Reeves is the real deal. I was really surprised by his script, which I think is potentially really powerful. Continuing on, even legally, I can't say anything about it. But his character, the Riddler, there's something fun there in my character and in all the characters. Ending off with, it's the kind of movie that we're just desperate to share on the big screen in a big way. It's going to be really cool. I really hate how the man playing the Riddler is riddling us and hiding all this information and holding back details. Nonetheless, even with Paul Dano sharing these little tidbits about the Riddler, we already know so much about his character and what he will entail for the Batman. I mean, for one now, it is basically confirmed that the Riddler is the main villain for this Batman movie, especially since a couple weeks ago, the Penguin, played by Colin Farrell, admitted that he has a very small role in the Batman, and with the confirmed cast of characters we have, the Penguin, Catwoman, and Riddler, it only makes sense out of process of elimination that the Riddler is front and center as our villain. Pair that up with the leaked set photo that we got of a Riddler victim in the Batman that I'm sorry guys, there's no way I'm gonna post the photo for a split second and risk this video getting taken down by Warner Brothers. But in that photo that we got was a man who looked like his face was duct taped up, is definitely deceased, and has the words written on him, no more lies. We've already heard that a big part of the Batman movie revolves around a re-election for a mayor because a lot of the Gotham officials are corrupt. This is going to be something extremely timely with our current situation in our world where police officials, elected officials, people in the DA office, all of them are dirty people and Batman Bruce Wayne is one wanting to expose them and bring them to justice. While on the parallel side of that, the Riddler is also wanting to bring justice to Gotham, but he has a very different method. This is, I think, some of the mind-blowing, really powerful stuff about the Batman that we're going to be exploring, is that the Riddler and Batman essentially have the same goal in the movie, but they have a different way about going about it. This should also make Batman fans extremely happy, because if we have one villain who's going around Gotham purposely purposely axing off people and Batman will be doing the opposite, this lets us know that this version of Batman is not a killer. Thank freaking goodness. I know it's a broken record with Batman fans about how important the one rule Batman has about his crime fighting where he does not take away a life because he does not want to become the same person who took away his parents from him. And even in the multiple interpretations of Batman that we've had, Batman still accidentally ends up knocking a few lives away. Matt Reeves is gonna bring front and center this dilemma to the Batman and actually make it a plot point in the movie, and I can't thank this director enough. I can just already see a scene between the Riddler and the Batman talking and going, What's the difference between us, man? I want to get the same thing you do. Expose these scumbags of Gotham and let's get rid of them. And Batman just lecturing him, serving some justice on a platter saying, no, we don't do that. We handcuff them and I'm going to handcuff you. Establishing the no-kill rule in the first Batman movie I think is essential and a really powerful thing to not ignore anymore in the Batman movies. But aside from those motivations of the Riddler, he also has some very demonic ways of getting rid of these officials. From some leaked details that are unofficial but that seem to have gotten everything else right that we've heard so far about the Batman is that this version of the Riddler will have saw-like traps throughout the movie, much in the same vein like the Arkham video game where you have to solve these puzzles. The Riddler will be doing the same thing with his victims and Batman will become a victim of one of those traps. This is where the detective side of Batman is really going to shine in the movie because not only is he going to be super smart and be able to get all the Riddler's riddles, but seeing him in action and defusing some of these puzzles that Paul Dano's character is going to be putting into the Batman movie is just going to be so satisfying to watch on the big screen. I'm really loving all the details so far that we have 
about the Batman, guys, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you make of all the details that we know so far concerning the Batman? Do you like this motivation for the Riddler? All the details we have so far about him as the main villain. Your thoughts on the Batmobile and any hidden secrets you can see in those photos. Don't forget to check out the other Batman or movie news updates I have on the channel. Hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more great content. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.